My dad always said that everybody should know how to do four things. Ride a horse, drive a clutch, shoot a gun, and I'd ride a motorcycle. So he taught me how to do all those things, thinking that there I am armed for the rest of my life, so to speak. So that's how I got into shooting. I started hunting in my single digits because my dad was a big hunter and eventually had an outfitting service. So I actually started guiding as well. As a good little girl, I did what my parents wanted and I went to college and I went to grad school and I got real jobs in the real world. And I eventually ended up working in what I thought was the field that I wanted, international marketing. And so after spending about 20 plus years working around the world, building brands, I had an opportunity to take a little break and kind of assess. And I realized that every time I had a vacation of any kind, I would go shooting. So I stepped away. I ended up being able to hunt and teach people how to shoot guns. And really my only regret was, gosh, why didn't I do this sooner? Your firing arm is extended, your support arm is bent, your support... When I'm hunting, when I'm teaching people how to shoot guns, when I'm doing that kind of thing, I, I have a, a certain way that I probably should carry myself, and I hope I do. Stop. Right, tell me why you're holding things like that. What's going on? I haven't fired yet. You didn't fire yet? No. Go ahead and fire then. Because you've got to kind of take control of situations. And then I come home to my mini docks and then it all goes away. Oh, you're such a good girl. I have a mini dachshund Peabody and she is my best pal. She helps me set the ranges and kind of sets me straight for the day. And then when I come home, she's there to uh, ask for her dinner and to cuddle and snuggle. <laughs> I spent a lot of time with my dad in the field. And since I started at such a young age, you know, my initial jobs were to be quiet and to watch. And that helped me, not to be corny, but that helped me kind of get in tune with nature and observe animal behavior and understand about habitats and, you know, all sorts of things just by observing. Good shot again, a Could good shot. Yes, perfectly. After I got my hunting license, he actually didn't let me carry any ammunition in the field for two full years, which was, again, really good training. I, back then, I was extremely frustrated and even embarrassed. But what it did was carry that education of observing just a little bit further, because now I'm thinking, OK, I have a firearm. Could I take that shot? Would I take that shot? I learned how to be quiet. And then on top of that, I learned to observe what was going on around me. In essence, is also really important in self-defense. Because in self-defense, we always say that being aware of your surroundings is key, and that's, that's number one. And remember, when you come down, you're looking at your target first. Your target first to make sure it's down, and then you assess left, right, right? Good job. Self-defense is important to me, but I feel like it should be important to everybody because no matter who you are, ultimately, you are responsible for your own personal safety. These things can happen to anybody, and that's one of the biggest hurdles that we individuals have in taking responsibility for our own self-defense. We tend to think, that's not gonna happen to me, that happens to somebody else. We don't really want to let that encroach upon our little personal world. Think about the, the person that you care about the most in the world, whoever that is. The person you care about the most in the world, okay? You open the front door, that person is being dragged out by his or her hair by a bad guy. Your loved one, your grandchild, your pet, your dog, your husband is being dragged out by the hair. You've got to get that guy to stop. I've taught women who are so afraid that the first shots they took reduced them to tears. But I have to say, in every single case, in every single case, they have come through that. And they have eventually ended up turning to me with big smiles on their faces, saying, I can do this. I can actually do this. I am feeling confident that I can manage this firearm and I can use this for my benefit and possibly for the benefit of my family. And because I've seen such a wide variety of women be able to do this, I've got such faith in women's ability to use firearms to defend themselves. So often in the media, especially these days, I feel like we women are portrayed more like victims and being weak and almost as if we are incapable of handling firearms, much less for the use of self-defense. You know, guess what? A shotgun will keep you a lot safer. 
a double barrel shotgun and uh, the assault weapons in somebody's hands who doesn't know how to use it, even one who does know how to use it, you know, it's harder to use an assault weapon than hit something that is a shotgun, okay? Joe Biden, you need to come out and shoot with me. You need to learn some things, first of all, and you need to learn about what women can do with firearms because everything that you've told them to do is so wrong on so many levels, legally, safety-wise, self-defense-wise, and I could go on. But let's just leave it as an open invitation. You come with me and we'll work together for however long it takes for you to understand how it's possible for me and you to use a firearm properly as a self-defense tool because of all the misinformation that is out there that is allowing people who don't know any better to jump on the gun control bandwagon. Most of the people whom I talk to who are rabid against guns have not shot guns. They don't know people who shoot guns. They really don't know what responsible gun owners and users are like and what we do with our firearms. And the NRA is one of the organizations that can get that across for us. We are definitely seeing a big increase in women participating in shooting, whether it's for self-defense, whether it's hunting, whether it's recreational. After coming out of a class, you're going to have such an air of confidence about you. And I don't want to use the word empowered only because it's such a cliche, but truly, you do feel more powerful. Here's something that I was hesitant about, that I didn't know much about, that I've been fed evil, violent images about through the media. A, I've learned that that thing is only going to do what I want it to do. I've learned how to be safe with it. I've learned how to manage it. And boy, do I feel good about that. And it really shows.